Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that if A divides B and A divides C, then A divides BX plus CY for any integers X and Y, right? So let's go ahead and, and go through the proof. So proof. This is an if-then statement, right? So we start by assuming this is true, then we have to show this is true. So we'll start by assuming that A divides B and A divides C. So suppose A divides B and A divides C. So and A divides C. The next thing to do is to actually write down what these statements actually mean, right? So since A divides B, well, what does that mean? That means that B is a multiple of A, right? So this means there exists an integer n in Z such that B is equal to n times A, right? So for us to say that A divides B means B is a multiple of A, so you can write it as an integer times A. Likewise, since A divides C, this means there exists an integer n, you have to use a different letter, such that C is a multiple of A, so C is equal to ma. Good stuff. Okay, so all we've done so far is write down our assumption, right? And then I, I carefully rewrote it again. So we, we, I wrote the assumption down together, and then I broke up uh, each individual statement. So since A divides B, a B is a multiple of A. Since A divides C, C is a multiple of A. Now we have to show that BX plus CY is a multiple of A. So our goal right, is to show that A divides this. So that means that BX plus CY is equal to an integer times A. That's our goal. That's what we have to get, right? So it's really important to know the goal, especially in a problem like this. So I haven't done this problem until like right now. This is my first time doing it. I probably did it a long time ago, a couple of years ago or something. But um, how am I able to do it again? Because you, you always have to know where you're going, right? So if you write down your goal, um, you can usually figure it out like we're doing now. So the goal is this, right? A divides B, so BX plus CY is an integer times A. So this has to be true for all X, Y. So to properly prove this, we have to say for all X, Y. So then, for all X, Y, and Z, let's look at the quantity BX plus CY. So BX plus CY. This should be an integer times A. So what is B? Well, B is NA, right? So this is NAX, right? This is NAX plus. And what is C? Well, C is MA, right? So this is this is MAY, right? And then um, we want to write this. We can we can use some properties here: commutivity, uh, associativity, and you can just pull out the A. You can write this as NX plus MY, and you can pull out the A. So why are we doing that? Well, because we want it to be an integer. We want it to be an integer times A, right? So this is an integer where where nx plus my is an integer y. n is an integer, x is an integer, therefore the product is an integer. m is an integer, y is an integer, therefore the product is an integer. Integer plus integer is an integer, right? So it's an integer. So we showed that bx plus cy is equal to an integer times a. So that means that a divides bx plus cy. So a divides bx plus cy. And that completes the proof. A little bit harder than the other divisibility proofs, if you've been watching those. Thanks for watching. I hope this video uh, has helped you improve your proof writing skills. Thanks for visiting my channel. Take care.